Ebro in the morning, Laura Staus. And the legends, classic. Yeah. Tonto Metro and Devontae. Give it up. Yay. Yeah, yeah, man. Week, How you guys week. doing, man? Uh, oh, cool, cool. Pretty cool. Thank you for doing our honor reggae tip this weekend. Uh, it's our pleasure, you know? Yeah, it's man. It's an honor to be here. Yeah. Right, you know? The show's already sold out, so if you're hearing us right now, you're paying attention to this, you can't come party with us. Allison Hines, Tonto Metro and Devontae, Shaggy, Idonia. Uh, even some soak on there um, with Allison Hines and Bungie Garland. We got some Afro pop, Afro beat with T with Savage and IOJ. You know, uh, you know, I want to ask you guys, um, how do you feel about your hit song? And you guys wrote that song back in the day. Everyone yeah, definitely. Enough. You guys wrote that song. I'm sure you're happy that it's a hit again. Yes. Very again, much so. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a pleasure, you know. Yeah, it's, well, it's great. It's a privilege to see a, a new... The, the song has lived for a very long time. How many years? 20? Uh, 19. 19, yeah. Recorded in 1997. And released 1997. So it's good to see it still living. Yeah. And it has gained... Let's call it a rebirth. Yeah. You know, new momentum has built up on even the old track, so it's it's really a good look. And it's good to, to know that um, a, a younger generation Catch respects you know, and yeah, loves that yes, tone. Yes, and, and pick yeah. it up and, and, you know, brush it off and put it back up. Yeah, because now people <laughs> listen to the Tory Lanez record and they hear and they're like, oh, let me go dig up and, you know, download the new... The, well, to them, it's new, you know, the old one on iTunes, yeah. so I know that's nice to see a little spike in that. Yeah, that's a lot... Um, a lot of that is happening, you know. A lot of people, if you really check out some of the sites, you hear say, "Oh, Tory Lanez brought me to this," you know. Right, right, and, right. So it's still a good, very good look. So, have you guys ever had a? You guys have a relationship with Tory Lanez? No, no, we never met. We don't, we never, never met, met him. Never never was, met. Yo, we gotta make that happen. Mm. <laughs> yeah, word, we gotta bring word, that together. Word, no word. problem. I'm sure he would enjoy having you guys featured or you guys bringing him. Out. I think that would be a, a dope little yes. Generational connection, you definitely, know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. I find it interesting though, because and you know how um, when an artist uses samples a song like that, that they wouldn't reach out to another artist and be like, get the oh. okay and, and have a conversation. Uh, Some, normally, sometimes they, sometimes do, they do. Sometimes they don't. I yeah. think it's a, um, a respect thing. I, 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 I take it. I want to put some. What do I call it now? I want to own it. Right. I think it's something right. like that he, he did, you know? So, him doing thing. Mm. Uh, Tonto, you did most of the singing, yes? No, Devante. No, Devante. Devante did most of the singing. <laughs> yeah. right. He's the singer. He's the singer. Uh, I'm the, I'm the, what do you call it now? I'm the DJ. The, yeah, the DJ. In Jamaica, it's a DJ. In, right. in America, they say rapper. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. But that's the origins of hip-hop, though, is dance mm -hmm. hall. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people... Yeah, we talk about that a lot on this show, how the origins of the sound system and the DJ mm -hmm. in, in dance hall culture yeah. is has its, you know has its origins in hip-hop, and that's kind of where Cool Herc and a lot of influences yeah. came from that dance hall, you know, culture. Yeah. Um, how do you guys, are you guys connected and seeing any of the uh, influence of the sounds of, you know, because dance hall culture and dance hall music and reggae music, obviously African people living in the Caribbean, right? Yeah. But right. then you hear a lot of the Afro beat and Afro pop coming out that feels very Caribbean, which I love. You know, but as an American, we relate some of those sounds to the Caribbean. Yeah. Not being exposed to the music coming out of Africa all the time. But now there's... How do you guys feel about the, you know, Busy Signal doing a record with T with Savage? And uh, I believe uh, 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 WizKid even has some records. He's from Nigeria doing some records with Caribbean artists. How do you guys feel it about feel, that world coming together? It's great to know because music expands, you know. Um, we, we, we come a long way with dancehall. You know, I would even say reggae. Because you know, reggae is the one drop. From Bob Marley days yeah. and coming up, but the dance hall where, you know, the yellow man coming up, to know that um a busy signal, you know, collaborate with the African yeah. artist, it feels good to know that you know our genre of music what we're doing, our little you know little dance hall thing expanding all over the place, you know. It's, I believe so. Fusion of any genre of the mm -hmm. sort is a good look, because that's a way of gaining new audience, you know. So it's always a good look on. Afro, um, African music, Jamaican music, you know, Caribbean music. I mean, we all related. We all related anyway. Yes, yes, all you know? yes man. They always have them little beat where it sound like you know Jamaican beat if, from back in the days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if, but, you, if you listen to yes. African music from way back, it's yeah, but they, 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 they deep. So you know where we coming from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they tend they, they tend to to to, to hook on to dance hall. Very, very much for the past couple of years now. You know, yeah, it's, it's huge in, in Africa, in, all, in, in every different part of Africa as I know. 
Yeah, I had a I had started a little internet controversy some time ago. Uh, Laura Styles was mad. <laughs> Um, you know, he's, always, he's always starting he's something Because I knew that there would be a resurgence In Caribbean sounds Obviously Major Lazer and Diplo Have been making you know right. things that sound very soca And the Justin Bieber record Sorry yeah, Which yeah. sounds like a Calypso soca song Right with, a, with a, a soulful vocal on top And then you know Drake obviously You know stepping out and doing this controller record And the Don't one so, dance yeah. record And these things was going to open the door For mainstream to feel like let's bring because your record was a top forty record, yeah, nineteen years ago, yeah, 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 you know what I mean. And so people were mad at me because I was like, "Look, Drake, Drake opened the door for dance hall and Afrobeat, and it was like the door was it, already yeah. open. <laughs> people the already always did, did it. Yeah. It already happened, and it's it did. But I felt like the door had been closed because mainstream had stepped away from. Really embracing that great Caribbean music, yeah. and then it, we it even try. We even try to remember what was the last top forty like Caribbean hit. What was it? I think it was like Serrani or somebody like or that, which is seven years ago. <laughs> it was Egyptian, or, we were Egyptian. Uh, or Egyptian Holder. Egyptian, 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 Egyptian,